I actually took a alternative construction workshop with him. I think now it's probably been about five or six years. Um, it was just a one-day thing, just kind of an introduction to it. Um, and I was really impressed with his uh, presentation abilities and his teaching abilities. The stuff was just second nature to me. And it really, really impressed me. And then uh, later I actually took a uh, Strabo workshop from him, which is a little more hands-on workshop. And uh, we kind of got to know each other and bonded that way. And um, just an incredible guy. Incredible guy, really, really, really knowledgeable. He's probably one of the, um, one of the biggest um, influences in my life to this point. Why did you think through and then have him tie onto the shuttlecock a whole bunch more? Well, we just wanted to load the shuttlecock. We could have loaded it and then passed through and tied it. I met Mark at the MREA uh, Energy Fair to, uh, a year and a half ago and uh, was really impressed with his knowledge and, and, and his, the, the fact that he knew straw bale. And so, because I was interested in straw bale, I talked to him, and the next workshop that he held, I signed up, and I took the workshop, and I learned a lot from that, and now he asked me to come and help out here. We came up with straw bale because we loved uh, just the beauty of it, the simplicity of it, uh, the warmth, People have asked me about how come these buildings feel so good. What is the energy in this building that walk into a straw bale? I think there is something deeper than just a home, just a frame built home. I think you walk in and there is a sense of an organic role to it, a sense of security, a sense of heart that's gone into it. But then one of the nice things about straw bale is you get the roundedness around the corners as a result of the plastering of the straw bale and that makes it a lot more, kind of gives more of an organic feeling. I grew up in a family where we really embraced a handmade item. It's not a cookie cutter stamped out product. It's something that just really has a lot of heart and soul in it. I can say any place in the house, John and I have touched with our hands. I mean, every aspect of it, there's been a lot of heart that's gone into it. Once you've uh, helped build one of these, you almost kind of feel like a, a connection to the home, like you've put a lot of a lot of time and a lot of your um, energy into it and I think the way that they're a lot more um, I, th I think that straw bale buildings are a lot more I guess almost homey they they have a tendency to be a little more organic of a feel and a lot less um, conventional and every straw bale house that I've been in has a feel to it that you don't get in any other kind of building the homes I've been in were all built by people who understood what they were doing. They weren't building a, a box to live in. They were building something specifically to save energy. And I, I feel that the energy that all of us put into it, the physical energy and the attitude that goes into the building, uh, comes back at you when you walk into a straw bale building. And um, usually the shapes are not square and perfect. Every corner isn't. Uh, square. They're round and they were, it's the shape of the person who made it and it's completely unique and so um, right away it's interesting. So just as an educator I'm thinking like all that subtleties of how we learn is inherent in a straw bale building in a way that it isn't in sort of a factory made um, traditional styles. Thank you.